Hello everyone, it's Alana. Thanks for coming to hang out with me and if you are new here, welcome, welcome. Today I am going to be planning in my classic dashboard happy planner for the week of December 28th to January 3rd. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, so as you can see, these pages do not match the planner I just had, and that is because I am Franken planning the Homebody Seasons dashboard planner with the Desert Flowers dashboard planner only because I just feel the need to start January with a winter type spread. So while I absolutely love the Desert Flowers Planner, I just can't start January with pink. <laughs> so um, next week, I will probably stick to the pink that is already in that planner. But to start out the new year, I had to go with a winter theme. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this week. I am going to sticker it up with some blues and some grays and cover up just a few things that are on the page. But I'm really, really excited about that task list. I mean, look at that. I love a good task list, so I'm really excited about that. Love those colors, and then I like how it says looking ahead as well. So I'm going to stick to that and sticker it up a little bit with some winter stickers. I also grabbed some pretty simple washi that I may or may not use. I've just got this gray and then the navy blue pinstripe that I may or may not put down on the page. I don't know, but whenever I decorate a dashboard, I just feel like it needs washi to separate those spaces, <laughs> but we'll see. So I'm going to start by whiting out where it says important right here because I've got this whole huge task list and a to buy list, which I will cover up. I'm going to put maybe a remember sticker or something like that over the top. And then also I don't have a whole ton to do for this week because it's the week of New Year's and our anniversary and my husband's birthday. So it's going to be pretty easy. Oh, and if I didn't say so, this dashboard planner is the planner I'm using for my content and social media. So not a whole lot to do this week. So I'm going to cover up the important, put a sticker over to buy, and then this box I'm going to use entirely for decoration. I think I'm going to go with the um, Hello January sticker and some snowflakes that are in the winter sticker pack. Okay, so I'm going to put this Remember sticker up at the top here, and this one I pulled out of the new winter sticker pack. And then out of last year's winter sticker book, I grabbed this one that says Hello January and then this colored um, like blue and gray and green stripe that I'm going to use as the background and then layer them right in there and put some snowflakes around them. So just like that. And that same winter sticker book has these really cute um, like metallic blue, oh gosh, <laughs> metallic blue snowflake stickers. And they match the ones that are drawn on the um, Hello January sticker too. So those are really cute. Okay, so just like that. And I think I'm going to put some snowflakes up here with January at the top of the page too. And maybe one right there. I don't know. I want to save some for over here as well. So let's see what else. Okay, I'm really liking it so far. Now I think I'm going to layer some washi underneath where it says looking ahead. I love that it says looking ahead because this is the start of a new year. I really like that. It's um, typewriter font, really subtle, really cute, but I'm going to um, just add a little bit more to it by layering some washi and then maybe a sticker. Actually, I think this gray washi will look cute underneath it too, so I'm going to layer both of them. Just not take this one over as far. Okay, yeah, I like that. So I'll put this little um, snowflake sticker right here. And I think this little bit of greenery right here like that. So that piece of sticker was from one of these wreaths that I cut up when I did my Christmas week spread. 
but I like that like that. I think that's really cute. Okay, so now up here I need a blank um, like header sticker that I can write in. So I'm going to put the dark blue one right there. And then I'm thinking about just kind of going around the page with snowflakes. I don't need a ton of decoration, but I think that will look cute. And maybe just a couple more boxes throughout and that'll be good. Maybe I'll bring in some more of that washi over here too because I really like that. I think it looks cute together. So I'm going to put some snowflakes around. I'm going to cut them in half and then use all of the pieces. Okay, so I got those snowflakes up in the corner. I really like that. Even though it's kind of like mashed up against that little garland, I still like it. I think it's cute. And now because the second is my husband's 40th birthday, I'm going to put this um, blue Let's Celebrate sticker, even though this does not really apply to my um, social media and content planning. I want to celebrate him in every single one of my planner spreads, so I'm going to put that right there. And then um, something, I guess, for our anniversary slash New Year's right here, and a couple boxes, and some more snowflakes. Okay, so I've got sticker fingers going here, so I'm going to put this um, snowflake down in the corner and then I'll cut the end off and reuse that piece and then I'm gonna put this box sticker right here for our anniversary and this one right here that's crooked I'm putting this little blue heart just right there like that and a snowflake on this one it's been a minute since I have done a dashboard layout you guys so sorry if this seems kind of like wacky and all over the place and indecisive that's because it is <laughs> okay more snowflakes and I want to find a sticker that says happy new year but I'm not having any luck so I'm going to check one more spot and see if I can find one. Okay, so I found this one that says New Year's Eve in the winter sticker pack. And I'm going to put it here. But I feel like the bottom half now is super crowded. So I'm going to have to put something up here that I don't even need just to, <laughs> just to balance it out. So I'm going to find something to put right there. And I think... That'll be good. I said I might bring in some washi, but I don't know. I don't think I need to. Not over here. Okay, so I'm going to put this silver um, hooray sticker over here because, like I said, it is New Year's, but also our anniversary. So I'm going to put that right there and then a few things on Monday and call it good. Okay, so I found another blue box and there was a little snowflake on there, but I whited it out because... It doesn't match the other snowflakes so I'm just gonna cover it with this little cute holiday coffee mug and put it right here on Monday just like that all right you guys so there she is my first dashboard planner spread in a very long time I think it's been like since maybe last spring since I've done a dashboard spread it has been too long and I'm really looking forward to using this one for my content and social media planning just kidding I need a finishing touch of a snowflake of some sort right here it just feels incomplete without it okay now now there she is we're done <laughs> Let me know if you guys have ever tried the dashboard layout before. I know some people are intimidated by it and there's a lot happening on this side and don't know how to decorate it, but once you get going, it's pretty simple. I mean, luckily the Happy Planner stickers make everything pretty, so you really can't go wrong by just putting the stickers on the page. <laughs> I think they're a lot of fun and really good for if you need a lot of like lists and tasks and to write things down. Those are really awesome for that. So I'm really happy with it. I think this is a really fun winter spread. Like I said, for next week, I will go back to the pink and maybe I'll try and make a pink winter spread. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me with this spread. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you would so we can hang out in future videos just like this one. But I'm going to leave you here for now. So tell your dog I said hi. Bye, guys.